What's up, guys? Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes. We are on our failed no copies attempt, but what we did get out of it is an A plus stone. So there is at least that that we have here on this account. So we are going to use this and turn it into some starry gems for our main account. So essentially, we got to do this. We then come over, get the fifteen dollar card, and then we can gift ourselves the profits. Man, still feels kind of bad. They even took the leaderboard down finally, so I don't have to look at that anymore. Okay, here's the game plan. Here's the game plan. So basically looking at the prices of the auction house, uh, Aspen, there's a ton of A-plus Aspens up here. They're all in ranging between like 30,000 to 55,000. Some of them have much better attack rolls. There's other heroes that we looked at, like Vulcan, which they're like, again, in the 27 and upwards range, which is not too bad. I guess it is worth decent if you're maybe getting a high attack roll, but I don't think they're really worth it. You got heroes like Patricia that are in like the mid 30s. You got heroes like, uh, who else is there? Uh, the new hero, Luna. Luna's decent prices too, but... Betty is one that has like next to no copies of it. Actually, I'm going to put all of them up here as well. So A minuses and A's in general, there's not a ton up. Even the A's are going for like, you know, the 20th range. There's only one other A plus and it's up here for 40. And that's probably not a hard roll to beat, to be honest. So I am going to take our luck and hope. <laughs> We're going to hope. That we can hit a copy now we don't have any Bettys here but what we did save on this account was 80 of these glorious relics to basically pick whatever hero we want so we need to come up to here we need to go to hero copies and we need to come on over to betty where are you betty there she is so only 60 copies so let's see. We've never really wakened a Betty too often, but this could be interesting. So we have a full bag, huh? <laughs> let's get literally, literally rid of one of these karmas and let's get going. We got to grab the hero out of the bag. Let's see how this turns out. So no matter what, we are going to see the rainbow sparkles come up here. Oh man, she's at the bottom, isn't she? Because they're all level two. No, wait, not all the way to the bottom. Oh my gosh. There we go. Okay. We have the Betty and we have the A plus stone. So we have about a 1% chance for this to high roll to an S, SS, or SSS copy, which is honestly not that bad, all things considering. Now, it's most likely going to be an A plus, but we've seen things high roll. We've seen things go up to the next tier. Oh, here, you know what? I'm, I'm going to stop edging you and we're just going to get to this awakening here. Yes, we're going to do this on Betty. Okay, so for those of you guys who have never seen it live, uh, this portal thing normally flashes a blue flash. You're going to see a nice rainbow flash, and hopefully we see three orange streaks come from the sky. Now, chances are we're going to at least see one orange streak. But don't get your hopes up, because it's only a 1% chance. Let's see what this turns out to be. Oh, it's just all red. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> it's just legit all red. Okay, so here's the other thing we're going to do. Uh, where's the Starry Gem Mall? We can purchase, like, what, two of these? Yeah, two more hammers. We have a few hammers left over, so we're going to smack this copy and see if we can get something better in 10. Now, Control Immunity Offset to Fire and Crit is actually not that bad overall, but it's hard to beat Giant Killer on a copy. Not the best still. We can definitely find something better, I think, than that. Question is, will we? The block in Control Immunity is really good. Oh my gosh, that's a crazy amount of block. If that had Giant Killer, I would be keeping it right now. Faction Rule Holy Armor, no thank you. Giant Killer crit damage armor. She doesn't do a ton of crit damage. Honestly, I kind of feel like the block and control immunity is a nice mix with Giant Killer. Armor can't be discounted. 60% armor is a ton of armor. Crit damage is offensive. I think we're on a switch. All right, we got four more to go. Can we get anything else that's better? Mind block, block, nope. Two to go. Giant killer crit damage reduction. Holy damage. No. I still think that is the better copy. And one more. The final roll. 
the fire divine block damage reduction i mean again if that the fire or divine block was giant killer that would have been crazy but i think this is going to be our copy so let's compare it to the current auction house once more i believe like i said there's only one other betty up here uh let's take a look and just look at the overall attack rolls on this and not the price we want to check the attack from highest or actually let's yeah highest to lowest so 75 86 we have what 74 88 so we're almost on par with this one right here uh it's a pretty good roll control precision and giant killer is pretty good this is interesting because it's definitely miles ahead of this copy here so i'm going to list it <laughs> I'm gonna list it for yeah I think that is what I want to do I think that is how I want to list it right there I think that is a fair price and then let's see so if it does sell for 39,000 uh, the auction house is gonna take 5% so that's about 2,000 so that will bring us down to that'll bring us down to 3750 and then we have to multiply that by another 0.5% which is another 18 so essentially that will be a net of 35,200 for our main account after the fee from here and the fee for transferring that's not bad because that puts us at a grand total of 3 4 uh, like 55,000 on the main account, which I think is valid. And uh, yeah, I think that should be good. So let's list it. Let's see how it turns out. I mean, it's a decent roll. It's not like a bad roll by any means. We have what? We have better, better HP, slightly lower attack and slower speed than that one. So we'll see what happens. Maybe someone will buy it because it's Barry Gamings, because we're making this video and you guys know that I really could use the Starry Gems. And if you're in the market, it's not a bad copy to go for. But sadly, we didn't even see a red streak come from the sky. So we are officially done with Reed's account. We have nothing left to do. We did all the tickets. We did all the Star Smog cookies. We did everything on this grand finale of saying goodbye to idol heroes for reed so yeah if only if only we would have saved those other resources i'd be transferring over like a hundred thousand starry gems but sadly we're not hopefully you guys enjoy this one i'll see you guys next time